So there you go, we've got both of the both of the boards up now, including this this beast. Oh, look at that. It's big. That is a big board. This is Hereford Rowing Club and uh, there's the boats there. There. Uh, this is, or the skulls, should I say? And uh, there's our boards, my cousin Ben. And this is the water, and um, there's plenty of fish in it. It's uh, it's moving quite fast. It's slowed down a little bit since yesterday, but uh, we're about to get on the water and uh, head downstream. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? This is what we're here for. And um, it's all rather lovely. So we set off uh, just a little bit behind schedule, about uh, quarter past eight, 20 past eight, because there were some scullers going into the water at the rowing club and obviously we want to give them priority because it's their rowing club. Um, and we are a little bit, Probably a little bit slower than we would be because of various bits of uh, mucking around. We've done um, just over three and a half miles in uh, about 50 minutes. So we need really to be doing five miles an hour, but we'll easily make that up just by not mucking about so much. But it's looking good. Look at that, I mean. over 20 miles into the trip uh, which is what 32 kilometers uh, there's Ben there he's got the rip on that side and um, yeah it's not bad it's good it's been good fun uh, what's the time we're on probably about um, I don't know a uh, quarter to two in the afternoon uh, 20 to 2 so so I don't think we're going to make 40 miles in one day, of course we're not, in fact that's just totally out of the question. But we're going to have a great day paddling out pretty much in the wilderness. We haven't seen, we haven't been through since we left Hereford any civilization, quote unquote, uh, at all really. So it's been, uh, it's been very, um, what's the word, bucolic, lovely stuff. So when we get to those swans, Ben, yeah, we need to like we need to be up, and we need to be up fairly soon, actually. So it really does properly work. It's a huge difference. And I was told by somebody else, like that, um, because also the other thing is that because such are so new, there's not really, you know, there's not a sort of handbook on it or anything like that. It's not a sort of, there's not the wisdom on the internet that there is about kayaks.
Well, Ben just asked me what did I think of this uh, 15 foot carbon cruise. And actually, like, what I said was it reminded me of like a Mitsubishi Shogun, something like that. It's big, it's powerful, it's capable. It's theoretically a tandem for two people, but actually as a single person board, it's amazing. Um, it's fast, it's a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. You could carry a lot more gear, particularly if you bungeed up the, the uh, one more D-ring row there and at the front. Uh, but it would certainly easily carry tents, cooking gear, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, go on it with your partner, go on it with your kids, more than one kid possibly. Like certainly you could stick a couple of dogs on there. It, it would. It ha it's handled some of the lumps and bumps on on um, on the river here absolutely impeccably. I've never at any felt at any stage felt like I need to sort of. Uh, sit down or kneel down or anything like that I've been able to go through it all standing up and uh, you know like it's actually uh, it's my new favorite board how was that Ben fantastic <laughs> uh, so um, what was the worst bit about it cold feet cold feet should have worn something better, but yeah. live and learn. Yeah. yeah. There we are. And we've come out here at the Hope and Anchor and Ross on Y. So that's pretty much the end of uh, end of this particular journey. We've done 28.05 miles, which is about 45 kilometers or something like that. And um, yeah, it's been a good power, but we had to stop really because it's just getting too cold and uh, the, the sun's going down really and it's not going to get any warmer and uh, safety first as always see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>